Okay guys, I'm working on a local friend of mine's Bearcat 980 and he has a couple of these uh, KL203P amplifiers so I have one here that I use for testing. So I'm not really much of a fan anymore of the uh, amplifiers and whatnot. Uh, it's just, you know, something I, I don't really run amps anymore. I never really... I mean, I have a few here and there, but to run them consistently, no, I've never really have been one. And maybe some may or may not believe that, but if you're local to me, you probably would know that generally I don't ever run amps. Although, you know, I understand the whole need for them and everything and why guys do it. But for my personal setup, I just don't really ever care to run them. It's just, it's more of a hassle for me to hook them up and, and all that stuff. I just hook up a radio and go kind of thing and talk. If I can't make it, I can't make it. Maybe I'm a mud duck and I'm okay with that. But uh, regardless of that, we have this amp hooked up. Now this is just one that I kept around. Um, I had sold some of these in the past, but I'm kind of moving away from the whole selling amplifiers and whatnot. So there's plenty of other guys out there doing it. So, you know, I don't give a lot of recommendations when it comes to how to run amps and most of you guys are well experienced with that and you probably know a lot more than I do when it comes to running certain types of amps and you know what what needs to be said with radios and all that stuff so I, I leave that up to the there's more experts out there when it comes to that and I never claim to be an expert at anything so we'll just put that out there as well so but anyways um, this one came in there the complaint was that it was swinging backwards which it was the dead key was cranked way up on AM like five or six watts and um I'm surprised he didn't blow his 203p running it on am like that i'm sure he probably noticed it right away and, and didn't run it anymore um but uh sideband was okay i like to hook the amp up run it look at it on the scope with a dual tone and adjust it for proper linearity on the scope which i've done but uh, the purpose of this video, again, is to just show you guys that, you know, when you're running stuff like this, you really should also be running something like this. Um, so what, I, what I'm going to do is show you the output on the Spectrum Analyzer first without it and then with it. So I just have a double male. So when I get to that point, I'll just unscrew the antenna jack. We'll screw in the double male. And then the jumper going up to the test equipment will go into the filter. So let me uh, plug this in really quick. This cord. And it will show us our double tone. Alright, so we got a double tone going. The amp is on. Clearly on SSB. And there's our double tone. So, looking pretty good. If I were to run without the amp, like that can see it without it. it actually looks much better without it so again these amps are not uh, they call them a linear amp but in certain situations and my experience they're not perfectly linear I mean that does look pretty acceptable and uh, you know it's definitely throttled back a little bit with the radio so there's the power output with the double tone I've got a 250 watt uh, element so looking up at the top so you can see but the main thing here is that so this is basically looking at um, 500 megahertz all the way to the right yeah you get a lot of drop off after about here but there's still all this all this crap popping up it's everywhere that third is extremely large I mean it's a lot of power right there so let's see like 81 megahertz or something it's very very present so um that's the main reason i don't like any amps designed for like cb radio you're running into these issues so i haven't seen one yet that doesn't do that some may might not be as bad but a lot of them are just as bad if not worse so yeah it's easy to show an amp and yell audio into your microphone and look at a watt meter and say hey it's it's doing great power it's you know look at it but you know when you look at it in other ways the power is not so impressive when you're looking at uh, things like that so let me hook the filter up and then we'll show the difference 
All right, so I'm back. So I understand this isn't gonna be ideal for like a mobile application having this big old filter. Now again, you don't have to run a double mail. I just do it because it's sitting here, it's easier. Um, I don't have to go and grab another jumper cord and all that, but you could easily like run a jumper cord and put this somewhere else. Um, this is probably gonna be more productive for guys running these in their house and you know that way you won't come through the neighbor's toaster and all that which i think i don't think that would ever ever happen but it's just a kind of way to exaggerate it so i got the uh cable going in here right out of the back of the filter and it's just connected so let me hook up this jack and um i'm just doing it on the phone today so i have to pause it all right, so we're going through the filter now. Everything is keyed up. And there's the scope. It actually looks quite a bit better running through the filter, like it cleaned it up some on the scope. And power-wise, yeah, it did drop it back a little bit, but who really cares? A few watts is nothing. I don't care, personally. I'd rather have a clean signal than have power. But, and then up here, that's what we're looking at now. So there's that 81 megahertz deal. Look how much lower it is now. So, and I'll show you guys really quick on the EM what happens. I'll show it with the filter since it's already hooked up, and then I'll show it without. And just really quick here too, I'll just use voice and talk. Everything is still on. So I'll just show on the, on the meter here so this is just with voice one two three four one two three four so it's definitely doing over you know the rated spec anyways but it's not being overdriven or anything and you know the filter is definitely working to clean up the signal so that's a 250 watt uh, coaxial dynamic in there so we're looking at the top and that sideband right there with voice so let me put uh, this radio on am and we'll show it there and then uh We'll show it without the filter. We'll do voice on sideband, voice on AM also. All right, so I got it in AM. So what I had done is set this up to run about a 10 watt carrier when it's keyed up on AM. So again, I set it up without the filter. So the filter is on right now. So it's dropped it down to maybe like eight and a quarter, something like that. Of course, the radio could have just you know cooled off or something water so really isn't anything to worry about but um so let's key it up modulate it you can see it's swinging forward it's moving forward ever so slightly which is fine so unmodulate it we'll put a hundred back in here and key it up or it's keyed we'll modulate it the peak on so it's doing about 44 yeah somewhere in there anyway so um here's our scope pattern right here so it's looking good you can see the tops are nice and rounded and the negatives are looking good it's not flat lined in the middle so everything's looking pretty good Oh, uh, there's the spectrum analyzer right there. It's looking good. And let's see about putting some voice into it. So again, this is AM. All right, so just got a mic hooked up to it now. And got the 250 back in there, so we're looking at the top. So if I talk into the mic, you can see it's still doing a good amount of power, um, doing exactly what they should. It's just clean. And if we come up here and look, come up here and look, it's looking really good there. So that, you know, that's with the filter. So now I'm gonna take the filter out and we'll just keep it here on AM. So just a second. All right, so now the filter's out. You can clearly see it's just going right in. Um, so remember when I said I set this up for about 10? So I'll key it up, and now we're on the 10 watt side. So we'll look at the bottom. So it's just a touch over 10 anyways. 
So we'll go over here to the 250 side, turn our peak on, and we'll talk. One, two, one, two, whoop. This would help if I had the mic up a little bit. One, two, three, four, one, two. So again, we're doing a little bit more power, um, but it's, you know, I would say that's due to all of the out of band harmonics and stuff, giving it a little more uh, juice in the watt meter, I guess. So there, there you go. Um, and there you go up here. You can see all those fireworks popping up and stuff. You know, it's just what they are. It's what it is, you know. So that's your AM right there. Um, it's not really anything to be proud of, but it's just how they work. So sideband right there. And look at the power again on sideband. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So it's doing a little bit more power now as well. One, two, three, four. Check, check, check. Hello. And then up here. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So again, it's basically the same. You know, just a lot of out of band garbage that pops up. So I've showed all this before, but I just like to do these videos sometimes as a reminder that, you know, this is usually what you're going to see. Um, I haven't seen an app yet that's marketed for, I guess, like our hobby um, that doesn't do this. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm sure I am wrong. There probably are some that don't, but for the most part, they all do. So filters are important. Um, you guys that don't know a lot of the stuff that's designed for amateur radio, um, they have filtering, bandpass filtering installed. Like it's very important. It has to be there or else they wouldn't legally be able to sell them. So, you know, that's why they cost so much money. There's a lot more um, that goes into those than, you know, what would go into something like this. But I'm not dissing this. I mean, they do work for what they are. But, um, you know, as far as me and in my business and the hobby, I just choose not to run stuff like this and really don't have any interest in really selling products like this anymore either. So um, I guess that's a, I guess maybe an announcement I haven't really made. But, uh, yeah, as far as the amplifiers go and whatnot, I'm kind of out of the game by personal choice. Um, but, again, there's many other people and companies out there that you can get these from. So... You know, it's not like uh, I was doing some great disservice by not selling them anymore to anyone. I mean, plenty of other options to get them. So that's it for it. That's all I have. Um, do what you must do with your own equipment, but just realize, you know, things like this are happening, whether you know it or don't know it. And I just like to bring it to light to show what I see here. So uh, I think he'll be quite happy with his radio. When he gets it back, it should work quite well. Now, this isn't his, but again, if you have one of these, they're all the same. So it should be ideally the same for him. But, uh, yep, we'll catch you guys on the next one. 7-3.